What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with the absolutely hilarious comedian that is known as Gabriel Iglesias. Absolutely love getting the chance to react to this man. He will keep you laughing for days. And here he is in this video. Australia does not care. Before we dive in this video and find out what Australia does not care about, if you happen to enjoy, please don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and let's dive right in. Last year, we got a chance to do a European tour of 15 countries. Estonia, mm. Germany, Norway, Belgium, the Netherlands, UK. We're just bouncing around all over the place. Dang. And then we wound up on the other side of the world. Out of all the countries I performed in, my favorite country outside of home is Australia. And I'll tell you why. Australia, much like us in America, has its list of priorities. You know yeah. what's not on their list? What's Political that? correctness. <laughs> they do not care about your feelings. Facts. I just, I, they just gonna, they gonna tell you how it is. They gonna tell you straight up how it is. But I don't think it, it's not coming from a place of meanness. I know Australians like to take the piss, like to have a joke. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, and that's what you do, like, when you're, like, good mates with people. You insult them. That's what I do with my good friends, with my bros. Like, that lets me know, hey, I'm comfortable enough with you to know that you will not take this personal. I'm just joking. And if they insult me, I am comfortable enough to know that I should not be taking this personal. They're just joking. That's the Australian nature of things. It's like a country full of Daves. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's very refreshing to be around such a large group of people who speak their minds so freely. And if you yeah. know that before you go there, you're going to have an amazing time. But if you don't know that and you show up, <laughs> it is a culture shock and a half because I showed up and I didn't know. Everybody says, you got to see the beaches. And I went to, to the beach. I had people coming up to me. Hey. Somebody help me get him back in the water. <laughs> yeah, look at right there, big fella. Look at you right there. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. He's moving. <laughs> oh, I freaky love Australians. I love my Aussies, bro. They're absolutely hilarious. I, <laughs> hey, somebody help me get him back in the water. Look at him. He's moving. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely hilarious. Oh, he's crying. He's crying. I bet it tastes like gravy. <laughs> it's not bullying if everyone does it. Ugh. Yeah. That being said, I'm in Australia. Sydney, Australia at the Opera House. For me, it was one of the most iconic places I've ever got to perform in. It was bucket list, definitely. After the show, I wanted to go hang out with some Aussies and see what that was like. I'm hanging out at a pub. First things first, Australian people do not drink Foster's beer. That's no. an American thing. They no. don't drink that over there. I tried ordering one to fit in, didn't go over well. They call it piss. They call it absolutely awful. Uh, and so I know America, I think we the ones who came up with them saying shrimp on the barbie. But now they don't even call them shrimp. They call them prawn. Or was that a thing Ozzy said and that we just caught on to? But I know in Australia they don't even call it shrimp. Foster's beer, I assume that we say it, they drink Foster's. Or maybe a famous Australian did drink Foster's and we thought they all drank Foster's. And is, I don't know what the case is with the Foster's beer and how we came to believe that they drink it. But uh, yeah, I've seen many videos to tell, to debunk that myth. They do not mess with Foster's beer at all. Bartender looked at me. Hey, you like the taste of piss, do ya? <laughs> okay, don't order that again. So I'm hanging out with these two Aussies and we're drinking a rum called Bundyberg. At first glance, it looks like a Coca-Cola bottle because there's a polar mm. bear on the front. And then you drink it and you're like, that's not Coke. <laughs> As we're talking, a third Australian joined the conversation and he sounded a little bit different from the other two. He had more of a raspy voice, more like, yeah. all right, yeah, mate, he's all right. 
He sounded like a drunk pirate underwater. <laughs> These two guys didn't like him, so they called him a name and they left. And now it's just me and drunk pirate. Yeah. We're talking about life. Life in America. Life in Australia. Talking about our differences. He tells me that he's a professional knife maker. He's showing me how it's done. He's showing me pictures. We wind up polishing off three bottles of this rum. Oh my God. And drunk God. wasn't even the right word to describe our level. I can't, I can imagine it wouldn't be the right word. Three bottles of the rum. Three bottles between two people. Yeah, you guys are, you guys are blind. Is that what y'all say in Australia? Or is that the UK? Which one? I don't know. You get you guys are absolutely blind at this point. My tour manager Ryan, he comes up to me and he says, Gabe, time to go. And I look at Ryan and I'm like, But Ryan, I just made a friend. <laughs> and he makes knives. <laughs> and they were pretty. <laughs> My tour manager always knows how to talk to me no matter what condition I'm in. If I'm drunk, he knows better than to talk to me like I'm an adult. He talks to me like I'm two. He looks at me and he says, Hey, buddy. You hungry? <laughs> well, listen, if we don't leave right now, they're going to close McDonald's and you're going to have to eat at the airport. I gotta go. I <laughs> might. You gotta go. You gotta go. No worries. And he goes to shake my hand. And when he shook my hand, he put his personal pocket knife that he made in my hand as a gift. That's for you, Mike. Thanks for being nice. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna cut cheeseburgers with this. <laughs> I love Gabriel Glacier so freaking much. <laughs> Got cheeseburgers with this. <laughs> Bro, this man is such a great comedian. Yeah, you got to love your, uh, the land down under. You got to love the people in the land down under. Australia is full of absolutely awesome people who will joke around with you. You know what I'm saying? But I like that. I absolutely love that because uh, I feel like if I'm not joking around with you and I'm not clowning you, I'm not insulting you, it means I'm not comfortable enough around you that I can do that, which means I'm not really comfortable around you. And once I start making fun of you, once I start clowning you, start insulting you, then you know we're good friends. That's all we got. If you enjoyed that, please don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up so I get suggested. And I'll see you guys next time.